This is my computer, a late 2015 iMac 1.5 inch. It has 8 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte hard drive. It works fine. Not the fastest computer in the world, but it still works. I'm looking for a new computer this year, and this is what I would expect that I would like to have, and I could say the average person. This is not a program or a show where we're going to go into complicated details. It's just for the average man who doesn't earn million dollars and can't afford a $5,000 Mac with all the special upgrades, etc. It's just a simple layman's video related to the iMac. Before we get underway, I would ask you to subscribe, to like, and of course to share and leave some comments below in the comment form. And I am affiliated with Surfshark, the world's best VPN. And if you do want to get a subscription, subscription at a very good price, just follow the link in the description form below. Now, let's get right to it. Now, lots of professionals have been complaining that there hasn't been a design or a new design since 2009. But the actual design, I think, is sort of like Coco Chanel's black dress. It really doesn't need it. Here's one that I may be interested in. Again, this is nothing confirmed, to be honest, but it looks really cool. And here it is. I think this is a great design for a Mac. The bad thing is I think the keyboard is a bit too close, so I would like that to be separate so you can move it where you want to move it to instead of being like a laptop, but I think the design is really cool and stylish. For the 2020 Mac, I would like them all from the cheapest to the budget to the most expensive to have the choice of the classic silver but also the new modern 21st century space grey. And on the Max for years, the Bizzle I think the correct term is, this is from the edge of your computer to the actual where the screen starts I think should be a lot thinner. So an example would be this. Another feature I would love to see on a new Mac, for example, are where you connect your USB ports in the back. It's really difficult to get to, but you have to stand up and get to it by even leaning the computer forward. Couldn't you put this on the front or could you put it on the side, where it'd be easier access to do so. looking at ideas for the new 2020 Mac. Now some people have said it may come out in March but let's wait and see. We've talked about the design, we talked about the bezel, we talked about the connections to USB at the back. Now let's go into more of the complicated stuff. Don't worry it's not as complicated as you may fear. We're going to talk about the RAM which is the random access memory and also the storage. expensive Max or the 27 inch Max, you do have a RAM at the back 
that you can access and upgrade. Now my one is 8GB and because I run everything on Google, it runs around about 50%. So wouldn't it be great even for the cheapest Mac to upgrade it to at least 16 and the more expensive ones, surely you can take it to like 32, 64, 128. That would be great. And to get to the storage of your new Mac 2020, I don't think it should be the old hard drive anymore. And everything should be the SSD, which means a super or solid state hard drive, excuse me, I'm not a real computer expert. And something a lot bigger, how much does it cost to produce solid state drives? I really don't know, but it seems to be incredibly expensive. And is 128 enough for an iMac? Can't you make it at least 500 GB solid state drive? And then the more expensive computers could be obviously with the one terabyte, two terabyte, yes, you're going to pay more for it. But this is just some things that if I'm going to spend another 1,300, 400, 500 dollars on a computer, that's what I would like to see a big significant change. And the final one that I would like to talk about is going to be the display. Now again, I mentioned I had my 2015 late edition. It's in high definition, full HD at, what does it go at, 1980 or something like that. Isn't it time that the minimum requirement for a computer should be in 4K? or maybe 5K for the beginning of it, for the beginning, the beginners, the basic iMac 2020. I hope Apple pays attention to what the consumer wants and what they can offer. Apple are expensive because of the quality. I agree with that. But people don't buy a new Mac every year because they can't afford it. They are expensive things. So, they're going to buy one every five years. So, let's make a significant difference, Apple, and I hope you enjoy this video. spending your time with me it's one thing that I can never give back to you but please do subscribe like and share I look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you for your time have a wonderful day